Okay, so shift A. Okay, so one thing I want to cover is not this. Your paint, paint slot, diffuse color. Okay. So now, what I wanted to cover was that there's different things when you're in working with with the uh, blender that you want to do. So we have different brushes as far as the curves, but like. Uh, Zerg had on his videos, he used a curve kind of like this, set it up, but there's nothing in the interface to save it. So you might have this nice little curve, you know, the, the brush works really well, but if you go to another brush, say like a duplicate this, and there, we click any of these to go to these brushes. We don't find that brush anymore, so we'd have to manually bring it back. Well, I'd like to be able to save that. I'd also like to be able to use some something like this. If I've saved a curve here from it's basically zero to one. If I save a curve there, I'd like to be able to use it in other places. Like here in the note editor, say shift A add a color. RGB curve, be able to like to try to pull that in here. So maybe I could use this shape here. Or, uh, in the options, we have our cavity mask. I'd like to be able to save a curve here. So if I, I've pulled this down and I've gone to fill, and I've got that going on. Turn around and change it a bit. Which is fine. Go ahead and go text draw. So I can't really do too much with it. Because it's the curve is pretty crazy here. There, because of that. So much. Anyway, I'd like to be able to get this curve here, put that there. I'd like to save this curve so if I get something that works really well with something, then turn around and work with it. Anyway, it's not about the action. Just wanted to show that. Um, I also like to work with gradients. So. My fill gradient, turn that option. So, anyway, he, if I wanted to work with a gradient, I'd like to be able to turn around and add stops, bring in other colors. And that way, able to cavity mask. So if I turn off all that I can get that gradient in there. But I'd also be able to like to be able to bring in say the color ramp here and reference this this color ramp. I've already built this color ramp. I'd like to be able to copy this. See, control C, control V. Well, look at that. That actually does something, so that's not too bad. Maybe it's possible I could use the color ramps here, store store my different slots, and be able to bring them in. That's not that bad of an idea. Um, let's see if it works with the color, the uh, the curves. 
So let me go to actual painting. Control C, and I'm going to hover over this V. Maybe that's a solution. I think maybe we can use a RGB curve as a as a curve storage, color ramp as a as a gradient storage. Let's find out if it works in a material. Control C over that, and I'm going to go to the material and tell it I'm going to use. color ramp. See if we can paste it there. Yep, it does. So actually there's a way to store it, but it's not something that's actually like really visible in the UI. So maybe this is something that can be fixed. Maybe we can have a user interface for doing this or something that's a little bit more um, uh, visible for, for people. Because I actually while I was making this, I learned this. This is the crazy part. Alright, well, thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you guys later.